fungus appears to be spreading through the country. It has what appears to be a very high mortality rate. The fungus is called Candida auris. Cases have more than tripled in recent years. It seems like something out of fiction. Is it a threat to you, to all of us? Dr. Mark Siegel joins us tonight to assess that. Hey, doctor. Tucker, it's not a threat to us yet because it mainly spreads among the immunocompromised in hospitals and nursing homes, and even healthy people can catch it there, but they're not going to get sick. However, it is a growing drug resistance to it, and if it gets invasive and you are immunocompromised, it's 30 to 60 percent fatal. So it's something to really worry about, and CDC is keeping a close eye on it. Now, what protects you? You're warm-blooded. If you're warm-blooded, you can fight off a fungus, and our immune systems fight off a fungus. But let's look at ants. There's actually uh, something called zombie ant fungus, believe it or not, that turns ants, these insects, into zombies. And then they go around attacking each other. They're cold-blooded. There's a bat disease now, white nose syndrome in bats, that's killing them yes. off by the droves. But what protects us? What protects us, again, is a species barrier. Even court Candida auris isn't going to get us. And no, The Last of Us, the HBO Max story, which is about zombie ant fungus, it's not going to get us the way... I'm sorry to disappoint viewers. It won't get us the, the way it does in that movie, in that series. However... The National Science Board of Advisory uh, is warning people that fungus is on their radar. You know what that means? That means if it gets into a lab and somebody's playing around with it in the lab, here we go again with this, it's possible that it will turn into something that could spread, have the mutations, and become a pandemic. That's what I'm most worried about, Tucker, is it being played with in a lab. Is it likely? No. Is it possible? Again, yes.